Hi everyone, this is Stephanie Saints with Bald Head Realty coming back at you from the beautiful Smoky Mountains of Franklin, North Carolina. And today I've got a wonderful new listing. I cannot wait to show you this one. You are going to love it. This is 110 River Dog Run and this is probably a quintessential log cabin. It's everything you would want a log cabin to be. It has that big wall of windows to let in all the natural light and the views. It has those soaring vaulted beamed ceilings. It has wood accents everywhere. It is just amazing. And as a bonus, it is also an active vacation rental. So if you were looking to get into something that you could use and also have some income coming in from vacation rentals, this one's already up and running as a vacation rental. And the even better part, the property that it sits on, it's riverfront. That's right. It sits right on the Little Tennessee River and you do actually own to the center of the river with this particular property. And that doesn't happen anymore in Macon County. This is a grandfathered in property and the property line does actually reach the center of the Little Tennessee River. And not can you and you can't only just hear and see the river, you also have a mountain view from the two massive decks that uh, surround the outside of this property. So let's get to our tour and then we'll come right back here and I'll give you some more information about this fantastic, fantastic home. Okay, welcome to 110 River Dog Run. We've just come in the front door and immediately in front of us is the dining area. Off to our right is the well-appointed kitchen. Directly in front of us is that big wall of windows that lets in the mountain view, the river view. Take a look at this here. You've got this big red heart cypress. This whole cabin is made from red heart cypress. And so we've got a big cypress tree right here in the middle. To our right is the kitchen. You have granite countertops, all your appliances, your gas range, fridge, beautiful cabinetry, plenty of storage here. The island has this lovely stack stone facing and there is even cabinetry in the island. So loads of storage here and you can stand here preparing your meals and looking out at the beautiful view from that big wall of windows. So on the main floor here, we do have a split plan. To my right is the master suite, and to the left on the other side of the stairs over there, I'll pan a little bit, that is a guest wing over there. There is a guest bedroom and bath and the laundry room. And there you can see the steps that go up to the loft level and then also down to the lower level. So look at this huge wall of windows letting in all this natural light. Check out these awesome ceilings. You do have the ceiling to floor, fireplace, stacked stone, gas logs. So let's take a look out here. You've got your mountain view, your river view, Look at that. You can be right out on the deck and see the river. And of course, these trees will get some leaves in the spring, but you own all the way to the river and actually to the center of the river, which is um, has been grandfathered in. It is unusual that that happens anymore. So you could take out trees so you can have your year round view. So I've panned around so we can see the living area. That's the loft bedroom and bath up there. That door on the right goes out to the deck 
and there are a couple of very expansive decks here. So let's go take a look at the master suite. Okay, coming into the master suite, you see it's plenty of room in here. You've got a very large king size bed. All the walls, all the ceilings are wood, just like a fantastic log cabin should be. This is the master bath. <laughs> You've got this great gas fireplace right there over the jetted tub. How neat is that? That is fantastic. You have tile floors, this beautiful custom vanity with granite top, and this big step-in shower. And then of course, a closet here to my right. It's a lovely tile shower there. So this is a great master suite for you or your guests. And we've got one of the windows open there so you can see that you would also have a view of the deck area, the river, and the mountains from here. So we will make our way across now to the guest wing of the main floor. Okay, so this is guest room number one. This is on the main level. You do also have deck outside of this, and you can see from here, this, this deck outside is pretty expansive. You've got mountain views here. Again, all the walls are wood. Beautiful. So this is plenty large enough for your guest suite, and this would be the guest bath that adjoins tile floors. This one also has a jetted tub. And going back into the hallway, you'll see we're looking back toward the kitchen. Now to the right is the main floor laundry area. So you'll see all the walls are wood. Look at the detail in the ceiling here over the dining area. There's the big main uh, cypress tree right there that's like the main focal point of this level. Look at the detail when we take this look here with the fireplace, the ceiling, the big wall of windows, just beautiful. Okay, we've come out onto the deck and I just wanted to sit here for just a minute so you can listen. That is the Little Tennessee River right out in front of us. And we've got some really nice little rapids right there that you can hear and see right from both levels of decks from this house. Just take a listen. Isn't that beautiful? The curve of the river comes right around the bend right there. You have mountains in the distance. What a peaceful place that this would be to sit. Now we're up in the loft and I just wanted to give you a shot of the living room from up here. So the loft is being used as a sleeping area. This is a big king size bed so you can get an idea of how big this is up here. Immediately to my right, this is the owner's closet, but it is actually, it's more than a closet. It's a pretty good sized room that they keep locked and they keep their stuff in there. It is partially unfinished, but it could be finished for additional space to use for guests or craft room or you know whatever you wanted to do. Here again, we have the big uh, cypress beam. And up here, there is also a full bath. This one with shower stall, no tub, but still, this could be easily used for your guests to enjoy. And from there, they can also look out the big wall of windows and see a mountain view. Okay, we've come down the stairs to the lower level. Take a look at this amazing space. Obviously, they have it set up as like a game room, entertainment area, but this whole space has everything you need if you wanted to separate this level from the main and upper levels and have just an independent space, you could, as you'll see 
in a moment. Again, we have beautiful hardwood floors down here. The wood walls carry throughout. There's access out onto another full deck on this level. Right in front of me, you'll see that open door. That is another laundry. So you have a whole nother laundry room down here. I'll just show you real quick. That door there goes to the one car garage and around the corner behind this uh, fridge is the mechanical room. So we'll make our way back in. That's the stairs where we came down from the upper level. You can see the beautiful just touches the wood walls in here. So warm, so homey. So we'll head this way. Immediately to my right is storage under the stairs. That is a storage closet. And here is a full size bedroom on this level with windows that you can see out and see the beautiful view. High ceilings. You can see it's another full size deck on this lower level. And you have a mountain view from this room. And we will make our way back out and look directly across and you'll see this fantastic kitchen uh, space, game area. I mean, it is absolutely cool, right? Just look at this, hold on. You've got this big open area. Immediately to my right here is the bathroom for this level. We'll just take a look real quick. It is a full bath, tile floors, single vanity, does have a tub shower combo. But look at this kitchen area. So let me tell you, this beautiful gas range stays with this house. And look over here, you've got this great little dining nook. This is fabulous. Isn't this great? Look at this detail, the walls. And again, big windows to let in the light. It does not feel like we are in a lower level basement type situation here. There's so much light coming in. You can even see the mountain view peeking through the trees there from down here. Look at the size of this space. So this space could be just kept separate from the rest of the home if you wanted to. They have access from outside of the doors over there it, and then have access to their own deck. So if you wanted to live in the top and maybe rent out the bottom, you certainly could do that if you didn't want to rent the entire house. This is, don't forget, an active vacation rental. So you could have you know, your cake and eat it too if you want. <laughs> but look at this space, it's fabulous. And I know you wanna get here um, and just check this beautiful, beautiful house out. I just wanted to do a quick video for you just to show you, but you really need to see this place in person. It is amazing. So we're gonna head back and we will wrap up the video. Welcome back. So we've just had our tour of 110 River Dog Run. So let's go over everything that we have seen. So we saw right when you walk in, that wall of windows just knocks you out, takes your breath away. It's a soaring ceilings, wood everywhere. We have the, the split bedroom plan on the main floor with two bedrooms, two baths, the kitchen and a laundry. You've got the loft area with a full bath. You've got that fabulous rec room downstairs with another bedroom and a full bath. That wonderful extra kitchen that's down there. And remember that the lower level can be completely shut off from the rest of the house. So if you wanted to separate the two, you can certainly do that. And then we saw how you've got the beautiful sights and sounds of the Little Tennessee River. It's just amazing. And I know you are going to want to see this one in person. So you know how this works. Click the link below and that will take you to the listing where you can get additional photos, the price and all the information that you need. And when you are ready to take a tour of this house yourself, you can give me a call at 828- 215-0606 and I would be happy to set up a showing for you and this could be your dream property and let's help you make those dreams come true and we will see you next time right here in the beautiful Smoky Mountains of Franklin, North Carolina.